Hello and welcome to another Baseline tutorial. Today is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to do a three-point edit within Baseline. A three-point edit is just a more specific way of inserting footage, so you actually get to set an in and an out point, either on your timeline or in your clip. So let me demonstrate that now real quick for you. As you can see in this sequence, I've got a dog sitting in a hanger, I've got a blank space, and then I've got the last clip of the dog getting a treat at the end. So I want to get a piece of footage in here that bridges the gap. I'm going to go ahead and line up my cursor to the start of this blank space, and I'm going to hit Control B to enter my Flux Manage. And you can see that I've already got selected here this clip that I want to insert. So normally, if I just went ahead and said Insert Sequence of Cursor, it would insert the entire clip and it would be a pain. I then need to change my offset to correspond to the starting frame that I want, and then I'd have to go ahead, hit Command K, trim that off, bring this down. What a pain, right? You don't want to have to do that. So if I go ahead and Command Z all that, the easier way is if you go back into the Flux Manage browser, you can see here that above the Insert Sequence at Cursor, there's an Options dropdown. So let's go ahead and click that. Instead of always insert a cursor, if you set that at use timeline marks gaps three point edit, now you can see that because there's a gap here, if I just go ahead and hit insert sequence and gap, it's gonna do it. I'm gonna hit command Z. I actually want this clip to start at frame 90. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit frame 90. So you can see now that I've set this in point, I can go ahead and hit shift left square bracket. And you'll see that this creates a mark in on our timeline. So that's shift left square bracket, and that again clears it and adds it. And I'm gonna do a mark out, which is shift right square bracket. I've got a mark out. So now it doesn't matter where my cursor is. I can put my cursor over here, right? I can go back into my browser and I go insert sequence between marks. Now I've set an in point here, an out point here, and an in point on my source. So again, a three point edit. I'm gonna hit insert sequence between marks. And I'm gonna jump to my clip. And you can see that it's started at frame 90 and it's inserted it between my timeline mark in and timeline mark out. I'm gonna go ahead and command Z that. So the last thing, if I wanted to navigate to these timeline ins and outs, I'm gonna hit command shift left square bracket or command shift right square bracket. And that's it. If you found this helpful, um, I am offering online coaching. There's lots of little tricks like this in Baselight, and um, sometimes it can just be really helpful for me to tell you them in person. So if you're interested in that, uh, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. But otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.